it is day three. <clears throat> day three. And it's funny because I'm wearing a John 3 16 shirt. Um, but I'm excited to get this day started. I have morning voice right now. I'm going to go grab some breakfast and then I have to head up to the barn to help with feeding. So it should be fun and I'll get back to you guys later. Hey guys, so it's about the middle of the day. Um, I just took like a three hour nap. <laughs> Um, but the rest of the day, um, we didn't have a second afternoon boys class. Um, we had a girls class in the morning and a boy and a girls class in the evening yesterday, but there wasn't enough boys to have two classes, um, for boys major day. So we only had one class this morning. And so, um, for recharge and everything, we didn't, uh, I just missed Oasis. Man. Didn't even think about that. I missed snack time, man. Man. Anyway, I took like a three hour nap. And I missed Oasis, which is at three o'clock. It's 3.47 right now. I came back to my cabin around like 12.45 and got ready to go to sleep because, oh my gosh, I was so sore. But, um, I don't have to be back at the barn until 5.15 to get the horses fed their dinner during Finanza and then I'm done with the horses and then I've got well compound night I can help them out with compound night where all the compound uh, sea compound gets to hang out and stuff but what I'm excited about is I'm playing guitar for Loring um, for late night worship so that should be fun tonight um, miss doing late night worship and I'm excited that I get to do it again and be a part of it so um, it should be fun but um, I think that's about all I've got today so I will see you guys tomorrow alright so it's the very end of the day um, late night worship was awesome. I played guitar and sang a little bit of the choruses and stuff. Um, I was kind of nervous, so it was kind of hard for me to sing and play at the same time. I messed up a little bit, but nobody's gonna say anything because it's camp and everybody um, is really nice. Um, I played with Loring and it was super fun. Both kind of carried a tune. Um, I am in a lot of physical pain. Um, I've been up since 7.30, I do devotionals and stuff every morning, but um, late night worship, it is about 11.02 right now, and my back and my feet hurt so bad. The first day, my feet hurt super bad, and I wore my chocolates all day, and I had blisters, and I had to put band-aids on them, and I have to keep putting band-aids on them, um, but like, I at camp, I eat my body weight in freaking food. I'm way more hungry than usual. I hurt a lot more than usual. Last summer, I had like, you know, the two weeks beginning to kind of get used to it, but I don't have that time to get used to it, so I just kind of have to go hard or go home because it's two weeks and that's all I got. Um, there aren't five weeks after this like there was last summer, so just kind of going with the flow. But I'm feeling really good. We played um, Marvelous Light, which was fun because it's an old one, but nobody knew it. None of the kids sang it. Um, and then we did uh, Holy Spirit and Good Good Father. And everybody knew that, so they sang it to it. We didn't have our projector, because <laughs> F-Compound, the older kids, were using it. So we only have one projector, because two of them have been broken this summer, apparently. Because uh, kids keep knocking them over. <laughs> and so we only have one, and we didn't have a projector, so they didn't get to see the lyrics on the screen. Which is kind of like a big deal. Like, they sing a lot more if they can see the lyrics. But we pulled out microphones so that it could be easier. But yeah, it's been a little nuts. Um, tomorrow should be cool. Um, I now have to skip counseling meeting in the morning and just kind of take my breakfast to horseback and eat there and help with feed out in the morning. Um, and then we should have two girl classes tomorrow. So should be a very busy day. Um, it's Christmas in July tomorrow because it's July 25th and it should be fun. And I think that's all I'm getting at. But one thing I will mention is on my spiritual leadership book, I am about to hit chapter 10. Um, but chapter 8 and 9 were super cool because they were talking about the qualities, um, essential qualities of a leader. Like 
one thing I didn't even recognize that they would put in there is humor. Like, it's super important that a leader sh has humor because, you know, nobody really wants to interact with somebody or follow somebody um, that doesn't have a sense of humor. And that made so much sense to me. And I was like, wow, that actually makes a lot of sense. Um, but it goes over things like, you know, writing the art of writing letters, which is something that I do all the time. Um, and it was talking about how you need humor, you need patience, you need um, to be a good listener, you need um, to be, um, you have to have a holy anger towards things that God would be angry about because Jesus shows holy anger in the Bible, but what is not sinful anger, holy anger, and what is sinful anger, taking advantage of that, which, like, grace also gets taken advantage of, but anyway. It is getting late, and I am tired, and I am rambling, and I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.